Hey, this is LJ from Let's Photoshop .com. Uh, This time I'm going to show you how to change the mirror reflection in a picture like I've done here. So the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to shut this down and I'm going to open up my two pictures. So I have two pictures and they're both taken on a tripod with like five seconds in between so that the camera didn't change that much. So when you when you when you're gonna do this, you wanna you wanna use a tripod and you wanna take the pictures really quick in between so the pictures are pretty much aligned. So I'm gonna show you what, what I mean. Um, this is this is the picture the mirror replace where I have the reflection in the mirror that I want to change and put into this picture right here. So what I want to do is that I want to use my uh, move tool. And I'm going to drag this picture inside the other one. And we can just make this bigger. So I'm going to make sure that these are pretty much aligned right there. and. It's not going to be perfect, so if you shut the view uh, on and off for the top layer, you can see that if you look at the mirror edge, you can see that they're not 100% aligned. So we're going to fix that. So you zoom in, and you can just look at this edge, and you can change the opacity of the top layer uh, till like to 50% and you can see that they're not that aligned and with the move tool selected just choose the top layer and you can use the arrows on your keyboard to just nudge it in place so something like that is pretty good so if I go back and I set the opacity to 100% again. If I turn it on and off again, you can see that they're pretty much aligned. Maybe not perfectly, but it's good enough. So, so like like I did in the Sin City uh, effect tutorial, I'm gonna use the pen tool again. I love the pen tool. So we want the um, we want the mirror, the mirror image from the top layer this one and we want the rest from the background so we can just name this the mirror so we're not confused so if we if we if we zoom in let's see we can just start by using the pen tool with this selected and you can just just start going and and if we think about it we don't want this hand in the picture we want only the reflection in the mirror so we want we, we don't we don't want this hand so we have to go around it like that Just press Control C to go back. Maybe like that. It's not perfect, but it doesn't matter. I zoom out and I go all the way up. And I close it. And then I right click and choose Make Selection, just like in the Sin City effect. And I click OK. And then I've selected the entire mirror. And so this is what we want. We don't want this one. So you can do this two ways. I'm gonna gonna press Shift Control I to invert it. So now I've selected everything but the mirror. So now I have this selected, and then I can just press Delete with uh, the mirror layer selected. So press Delete, and I have. I'm pretty much done. 
but you can see that there are some errors. So if I zoom in, you can see two errors. You can see that the shirt of this image isn't, isn't fully, I don't have everything from this image because the, the top layer is over it, but that's not a big problem. And you can see that uh, the lighting isn't exactly the same on both pictures. So, so we're going to have to fix that. And you can also see that down here, you can see the old picture. And this is the top layer. We didn't cut it right, but it doesn't matter. We can fix it. So um, with the top layer selected again, um, we choose the... Um, see yeah the erase tool and just use a big brush with both the opacity and flow set to 100 percent we can just delete everything like that and that's and we fix that problem and when we're going to fix this problem let's see we just use uh, the eraser again, but you can change the opacity to 50% and the flow to 50%. And then when you delete, you don't delete that much at a time. So it's more subtle. So I think that's that pretty much fix the, fix the problem. So down here, you can see the bottom edge. So you can do that a bunch of ways. You can just, if you just press Control T, then you get the transform mode up. And you can change it here, 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 and everywhere. So you just, let's see, if I go down here and if I pull this a little bit down, you can see that I fixed the edge right away. So just pull it a little bit down and making the image the image a little bit uh, longer right here. So I'm just going to press enter to apply that. And that's, that's actually it. There's nothing much to it. And and this is this is how you can do this with video if you want to it works the same way and if you want to make duplicates of yourself and make a clone yourself or something it works the same way so i hope you enjoyed this and i'll see you another time bye